Hello. Today we're going to go over the classic black leather MVMT. I think it's movement watch. Uh, let's go over the specs. So on the official website, mvmtwatches.com, uh, it doesn't give that many specs. It says the case size is 45 millimeters. Case thickness is nine millimeters. Strap width is 24 millimeters. Uh, movement is battery powered three hand Miyota quartz with date. The glass is hardened mineral crystal and the water resistance is 3 ATM, which means splash proof. So you can't submerge it underwater. Um, there are more specs on some other sites. Uh, so on the brandfield.com website, the glass is mineral glass, case material stainless steel, material strap is leather. There's a two year warranty, water resistance, splash proof. Diameter case is 45 millimeters. Uh, the digits are stripes. Calendar type is day. The strap length is 220 millimeters. Functions, date. Timepiece is quartz. Uh, case color black, dial color black, strap color black. Case form is round. Case height is nine millimeters. Clasp type is buckle and the width of the strap is 24 millimeters. Okay, let's go over the pros. Uh, pro number one is that there's a two year guarantee. Uh, basically, initially when I bought this, uh, there was a problem with the battery. Uh, I thought the watch died. Uh, so I sent it back, I thought it malfunctioned. Uh, they said uh, there was um, something wrong with the battery and they replaced it for me. So that two year guarantee is well worth it. The next pro is that it, the strap itself is made from genuine cow leather. It is very durable. It is very durable. So that's one thing uh, that I like about it. Uh, the next pro is that there are switchable straps. So depending on what mood you're in the day, you can actually change it to different color straps. Um, I'll just show a clip right now to just demonstrate how you can switch the straps. And it has these quick release uh, buttons here, which make it really easy to change. Um, traditional watches, you need a screwdriver to press the pin down, pop it out. It's pretty annoying. The next pro that I like is the look itself. It's a very stealthy look. Uh, it reminds me of those um, stealth bomber jets. I think it's US military. Uh, so it's all black, black buckle, black straps, uh, black base. Uh, this is silver. Um, the only thing that stands out is the logo is red and the second hand is red. Also the date there, you can see it in white. Uh, it's got a very clean design. Like uh, one thing that I really like about it is there are no distractions at all. It shows, it's a very simple time piece. It just shows the time and the date, nothing else. Okay, let's go over the cons. So one of the cons that was kind of strange for me was there's no official info on where it is made. Um, I know that there are cheaper variants and they are made in China. Uh, you can get those on those uh, cheaper Chinese websites. Um, but yeah, there's no information about that. So it's kind of iffy. Uh, the next con is that there is a lot of strap wear, as you can see right here. Um, where the buckle meets the hole, uh, you get a lot of creases and scratches. Um, I don't know if that's due to the dryness of the strap, but you see a lot of creases. Uh, another con is that uh, the strap is very dry. As you can see, there are a lot of creases and also kind of warp. Well, most watches do warp into the shape of your wrist, but these tend to do it more than uh, normal watches. Uh, the battery itself, like uh, initially I had a problem with the battery. Uh, this is the first run uh, of these watches and there were many complaints, but ever since uh, I've actually bought more of these watches. Uh, there's no, but there hasn't been any uh, battery problems. Uh, the next con is that there is actually glass glare, especially because the time markers are black. You have to s look at it in the correct light 
in direct sunlight, I find it very difficult to actually see the hands because it is black with black and only the second hand is red. So it is very difficult to see. Um, and the last one is there are a lot of cheap variants. So uh, the quality of this watch is pretty good. Um, the two year guarantee uh, definitely helps with that. But if you are looking for something of higher quality and um, maybe stay away from this watch, uh, you could uh, check out the cheaper variants regarding quality. I do not know if they offer guarantees or anything like that, but um, yeah, you can buy much cheaper variants on those cheaper websites. Okay, let's go over some final thoughts. So why did I buy this watch? So I liked it just on the sheer design. It's very cool, sleek. It has that stealth bomber look. I really like the simple design. It is a simple timepiece. They do make the chronograph watches and I don't know, it, it kind of looks tacky for me. So I avoided that one. Uh, these ones just look really cool to me. Next is affordability. I find these a bit overpriced because ever since I found out that you can actually buy cheaper variants of these watches, uh, they're, you can buy them less than double this price. So I don't know the quality of those is because uh, I've never bought those watches, but you can buy cheaper versions of them. Next is quality. Um, for the amount that I paid, I think I paid between 100 and 120 uh, dollars, US dollars. Uh, I expect more from the quality, uh, especially with the strap. I didn't like the way, like especially on the exterior here. I don't mind if it was on the inside, like here, but it's on the outside. I did not like the creases. And uh, next is, would I buy it again? Yes, I would buy this again. Uh, I've actually bought another two, as you can see here. Also, I demonstrated with these, uh, you can actually change the straps on it on these uh, i bought this one because it is complete opposite it has brown leather um silver buckle it has the white clock face uh, black second hand it's much easier to see as you can see when i move it around like that it's much easier to see it's a very nice watch simple in design and it, well functionality it, it's but i like it better than that one i also bought this one it's very similar to the red one. It just has the blue logo, blue hands, and it has a silver buckle and silver uh, base. Um, yeah. All right, thanks for watching. Bye bye.